Hey guys, my name is Leanna and welcome to part 3 of my Redbubble reviews. Bubs are at 78. 136 designs is really good. Nice. I think there's a wide variety of things. I think a lot of these that you have on t-shirts look really good on t-shirts. With this one though, blue monster emoji, I would maybe bring that up a little bit bigger if you're gonna go with a pattern for it. Daniel Sun, I have no idea what that is, but those look really good. The Cobra Kai and Daniel Sun. I might sometimes seem dumb if I don't know the references, but I think those look really good. Stack of cards. I think that's a good short, sweet, and to the point title. And cards can be used in like a lot of different things. So I think there's a lot more potential for tags. I think I just favor offset patterns, but I think it honestly works fine as just a great pattern but completely up to you. I think there's gonna be some more potential mushroom tags that you can add to that. Just utilizing the internet to get some inspiration if you can't think of them off the top of your head. But I think you've got some of the main ones like fungi and <laughs> I don't know how often people will be searching that, but definitely, you know, it's relevant. So I think those are some good tags, but there's room for more tags too. And then this one, I would maybe add a little padding between each one, but I think I think especially because they're all like a rectangle in a way, you definitely wanna do offset. And I would definitely mention Popsicle in the title. You just have trippy psychedelic vector. A lolly, I guess a lolly, you mean like a lollipop? Cause it looks like a Popsicle to me. I would maybe say, I would say trippy psychedelic Popsicle. If you are gonna enable poster, I would add some more padding around that. This looks like some solid designs of dessert. But on this art print, I would consider bringing that pastel yellow out so it takes up that whole section. Aside from the fact that you don't want that white around it, I would also make sure there's at least yellow padding around the edges. And I would just call it dessert series. I don't think you need to mention vector illustration because that kind of goes without saying. So I would say dessert series, dessert pack. And with the sticker pack, I think you'll wanna just do a little bit more spacing. I think for sure a few of those are gonna end up the same sticker. Cool, and you're making good use of the collections. And 37 favorites, I think it's a good start. Obviously people are noticing your page and just keep putting stuff out. I think it's a really cool wide variety of stuff. And I am a large, a large fan, that sounds weird. I'm a big fan of your banner. Thank you Bubs Art 78 for letting us look at your stuff. Why did the bike fall over? It was too tired. Particular, I think that's a really cute icon. It looks nice with the banner, 74 designs. 48 favorites, that's a solid start. And fan artist, I saw under your name. Nice, you got some good masks. The clouds are really cute and making use of just little phrases. Nice, I think that's good spacing for this sticker pack right here. Yeah, that's a solid shirt design, trick or treat. I would maybe say trick or treat pumpkin. Um, in case people are looking for pumpkin, but just make sure you have pumpkin in the tags for sure. And you've got it on, it looks like all the products. Okay, and for the sticker, you do have these white bats around it. You're gonna wanna clean up the sticker. If you do turn these bats black, the sticker is gonna connect. I think it all will end up one sticker, but you definitely don't wanna keep them white. I think most of them will be close enough. It'll just be kind of a elaborate, you know, edge around the sticker. Especially since you're emphasizing stickers within the tags, you'll wanna make sure those are all clean. Oh my God. Um, I would bring this down just a little bit and center it. Um, for the title, I'd be a little more specific instead of current mood. Maybe say, if you don't know me, don't say hi in, in quotes and let that be the title. And if you wanna have current mood, you could have that in the tags. Cause I know you have mood on there and I think that's good. Okay, it looks like you've got it on a lot of the stuff. The pin, I would try to center that as well. I think a lot of them, you might wanna just bring it down a little bit. And then if you're gonna enable the sticker, I would turn that phrase black. Thank you, Particular. What did the policeman say to his belt? You are under a vest. Brian Quartz, 2020. I would start by making sure that quote, I don't have a house, but I have a lot of books. Make sure it's smaller and just lower. I mean, it can be big, but just make sure it's not coming off the top. That's a really cool banner. I just end up loving everyone's banners, to be honest. It's not that people won't buy dresses, but I tend to not want to default to them just because I think they're a little bit less likely to be sold. 
With something like this, you can definitely read Black Lives Matter, but I would consider emphasizing it with a white stroke around it. And then this is very small, but there's just a couple black dots above his shoulder. I would try to clean that up a little bit. I think there's a few more products you could enable it on, but you know, it's probably, I can say this right now, not gonna make the best leggings. So it's okay if you skip something like leggings. And on this pin, for example, you're just gonna wanna format differently, especially because it's tiny. That's a case where that white stroke would help a lot. When you do something like this, it's helpful to make that background a little bit bigger than you might plan to. So have one with a smaller background for a poster and then have one with a larger one for something like a pin. So in this case, it'll bleed off the edge. Cool, I think that's a good title, Black Lives Matter and LGBT community. I think there's gonna be more LGBT and Black Lives Matter tags that you could always add, but I think you've got a good start. Yeah, enable on as much as you can. Just be careful with formatting and making sure things bleed off the edge. You'll just wanna make sure Black Lives Matter is more readable. And it looks like you mean to have this as one sticker. You can always bring that lower kangaroo closer and let that guy's leg kind of be nooked into the shoulder and head so the sticker will be continued in that middle area. Either way, I think it's gonna be fine, but it could be nice to just kind of make those closer. And periods aren't gonna be needed in the titles. You can just say mascot kangaroo cartoon. For the title, you don't need to say this is for people who love books because I think either way, when they love books, they're gonna be searching whatever the title is. So happy book lover day. It already kind of implies that. So it's better just to make it descriptive and not too long for the title. Just making sure you make that point as, as easily as possible. So I think happy book lover day is good enough. But in this case, those blurbs could be cut off on a twin bed. And if it is a larger bed, maybe they won't be. Yeah, like this, then you see the robot. So you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful with that. So I would find something that you think is best to default it to. Lots of good book tags, but you've got room for more. 31 designs, that's a good start. And you have a lot of favorites for just having 31 designs. So I think you're definitely on the right track. And a lot of them are really good on t-shirts. And this one, you just have a scarf and an iPad. And I think scarves can be really tricky. A pattern can work for a scarf, but this one definitely won't because it's just gonna get folded and you won't even see it. So a tapestry could look good. So if you keep scarf, I would just make sure to blow it up and let that rainbow be prominent, but make sure to enable it on a lot more than just iPad and scarf. Tapestry would be solid to enable it on, but just make sure it's even bigger. Or even a sticker will look good for a, for a default, but try to make sure it's enabled on as much as possible. And I think that's a solid title. And I think you've got a lot of good tags but I think there's quite a few things that can be put under LGBT. As long as they're not copyrighted, I think it's got plenty of other options too, but you've got a good start with tags. And for this, I think it would be even better to let it be a sticker pack of three separate robots. If you do want the word unique in there, I would say cute, unique robot, since you're not gonna wanna have sticker in the title because it's gonna put that on the end the same way it would put journal or anything else on the end and you've got it on a lot of products and there's room for even more. But you're gonna wanna take that white background out because like I've said before, even on a shirt, even if it's white, it's gonna be a little bit of a different white. And I looked to see what your best seller was and that definitely makes sense since social distancing is a popular subject right now. Thank you, Brian Quartz 2020. What do you call shoes made of banana peels? Slippers. Karen E. Drawlin. I think I said that right. It's a really nice icon and banner, and I love how that banner rainbow goes around the icon. That's a really good amount of favorites, 1800. And a solid amount of designs. That's an awesome leaf sticker pack. And I love this, the snake plant. I think this would definitely be something someone would buy on a sticker. Okay, and you've got different colors too. Yeah, you've got garden. I was trying to think of one you don't have, but it looks like you've got a really good amount. These flowers are really cute. And I think that's gonna look really good. Yeah, on different products. I really like that. But with the sticker, I feel like it would have a lot of potential to be a sticker pack. Cause right now some are gonna be separate and some are gonna be together. But I think either way it's fine. People could treat it like a pack. Some would be together, some would be apart. I think overall, I love it. So I think people will buy it either way. For the majors, I think it's smart to have them defaulted to a sticker 
and just make sure it's enabled on everything because a lot of people like to put their major stickers on their laptops when they're at school. Obviously people aren't really at school currently, but people like to have those on their laptops. And if you have it enabled on other things, people might get the journals and the acrylic blocks. But for example, the math major, you've got it on a tan shirt, so it's hard to read that. So if you do default to a sticker, it's gonna be safer because you'll see that purple in front of the white or the transparent sticker. On the shirt, you're gonna wanna stay away from tan, particularly for this one. If you made it just even a little bit bigger and let it be one mountain view on the curtain, I think that would be really cool. It looks like you've got it defaulted on quite a few products. 3D mountain views, I think that's a really solid title. It looks really cool how you have it layered. I would definitely enable this on as many as you can. I think it does look really cute as a pattern. I would definitely say offset looks really good for a pattern for this. Yeah, it looks really good on a mask as well. Just make sure it's on as many products as you can. And it's a really like nice, versatile, simple design. With this one, it's definitely viewable, but I think it could be even better against a dark background if you lighten the Y just a little bit. And then vice versa, if it was in front of white, I would maybe darken the second O just a little bit, just to make it work that much better with the background. Nice, I think the Girls Support Girls is really cute for a sticker, and I think you'll just wanna make sure that's on as many other products as you can. The Raining Pansexual looks really cute on a coaster. The simplicity of a sticker for something like that, and this Transgender Pride drink, I think those look really good on just a basic sticker and it's very affordable that way. And I noticed this sticker pack after I stopped recording. It looks like it's for a planner, and that's really cool. You'll just have to make sure you spread those out. Definitely a lot more. Thank you, Karen E. Drawlin. What lights up a soccer stadium? A soccer match. Simply Sharon. 184 designs. That's a solid amount. And 500 favorites, that's really good. Honestly, even the glasses and the icon like work with the banner. I think that's really cool. It looks like you added a little bit of extra white padding around the stickers because you already have that white and you don't necessarily need that. It's up to you because it's going to create that padding around the sides for the sticker anyway. So yeah, I think it still works because it looks like you did that with probably all of your stickers and that just makes them that much more readable especially if it's on a darker laptop. The only issue is it kind of defeats the purpose of the transparent sticker. Really good amount of tags, it looks like. Lots of good phrases. And this is really pretty. That's a nice background color for this. But for the sticker, I think this would have a lot more likelihood of selling if you did just turn this into a pack, because this is something where it makes a really nice pattern, and then it also makes a really nice sticker pack as well. So that looks really good on like a journal and stuff like that. And that bath mat looks really nice. And I would expand it a little bit to let it fill up the entire shower curtain. And the journal, you could shrink it a little bit to let more of that pattern show, but it's really up to you. And even that skirt looks pretty cute too. And it can be tricky to make something look good on a skirt, but a lot of patterns will be easier to make look good on clothing, obviously. And the t-shirts are gonna be tricky, but I think it's best to enable it on whatever you can. So I think as a square, it, it works fine. Really nice tapestry too. This fruit does work really well right in the middle of that clock. I would even put fruity mix, blackberry, strawberry, and I am blanking on what the third one is. I admittedly can't. Melon, mango. Maybe you could add fruity mix, strawberry, blackberry, strawberry, blackberry, and then the other one. I think that's a really nice tote bag because I think people would definitely use that while shopping when reusable bags are allowed because I don't know if they currently are. And I like how you put it in the corner for the t-shirt. I think that can work really well, putting a graphic just in the corner instead of centered. It looks like you did that upper right-hand corner formatting before uploading, but you can always just upload a regular file and then move it and shrink it to the corner on the actual t-shirt and that could be a bit easier. This is formatted really well on everything. Even the leggings look good. I would make it just a little smaller on the pin, but it's not a huge deal that it's bleeding. And this is an example of something that looks really cool when you just see half of it and you fold to see all of it. A lot of things can work well with that. Just play around when you're formatting. And if it's something that's really big and seeing one side of it makes you 
pretty much know what the other side is, it can be really cool to have it on something that folds. So I think this works really well. Looks like the formatting is really good. And you could probably put it on a few more products. You've got 66. So I'd go back in and just see what works. And it looks like you've got some other colors too. And those look really good too. Lots of good designs and good formatting. Thank you, Simply Sharon. How do you tell if a vampire is sick? By how much he is coughing? Rakesh Marugan. Lots of good masks. 137 designs. That's a really nice amount of favorites to have. Cute icon and banner. I think the floral designs work really well on masks. You'll just want to make sure all the floral designs are completely original. And I think this one would be a little bit better with an offset pattern because when you see it, there's just kind of that gap in the middle. And it's not a big deal, but that's why offset pattern can be nice. Even when the padding isn't exactly perfect, it can kind of trick the eye into not noticing. 18 products. I think making all of these offset would be a good idea. And there's definitely more room for tags. Yeah, a lot of these masks are really nice. I like the Hawaiian one a lot. And this camping travel one, that's an awesome sticker. That looks really good. And I think it's a really nice title. It gets the point across. And this can look really good on a lot of products. So I would enable it on even more products. You've got 54, which is a really good start, but it goes up to around like 82. But the formatting looks really good on the ones you chose. For the title, I would be a little bit shorter and I would say floral coffee lovers because it's got kind of a tag vibe going, floral coffee, coffee and flowers, coffee lovers. And those are things you can put in the tags if you want to be more specific and, you know, make those the phrases that people could search. But for the title, I would just say floral coffee love or floral coffee lovers. I think it's a really nice design. Yeah, and you've got all of those in the tags, so it'll be fine to make the title a little bit more direct and just have less words. Because I think some people are even too lazy to read all of it. They'll probably just see floral and coffee anyway in the title. So you should be fine. These are really cool. The floral stethoscope. Steth Holy frick. The, the floral, floral stethoscope, stethoscope looks, looks cool. cool. Nice. You've got a really good amount of masks. This is a nice coffee sticker pack. I think coffee lovers will really like your page. The red cup and coffee time are going to be the same sticker. So just be careful in spreading that out. This is a very fun food mask. This works really well as a mask. I would just say food porn pattern instead of having both phrases. And then in the tags, you can be a little more elaborate and say food porn, food pattern. And it looks like you did that already. So I would just shorten the title just the tiniest bit. Okay, you got lots of products. Nice, and that looks really cool. You'll just wanna be careful. The stickers, it's probably just gonna be one sticker. So if you want, maybe just have less stickers to make it easier to spread, but I think these look really good. Thank you, Rakesh Marugan. Why don't melons get married? Because they can't elope. Dippy Hippie is a very fun shop name, and then you've just got your regular name on your page, and I think that works well. I think that's a really cool, elaborate banner. 112 favorites, so people are definitely checking out your stuff. I love that donut and coffee. It looks like a lot of them are defaulted to sticker and those are ones that I think really do look good on the sticker. These hippie vans look so cool and it definitely goes well with your name. And this works on so many products, but that sticker is just gonna be that good way to emphasize it. Nice, you've got it on pretty much everything. If you want, you can make that zipper pouch formatted a little bit smaller so you've got more white padding around it. But I think it looks really good on a lot of these. And that's a really nice title. It gets to the point without being too long. And it can be nice to put your name in the tags. It's up to people if they wanna do that. So if someone searches your name just in Redbubble, it comes up rather than having to go to your actual page. That's just kind of a preference thing. It doesn't hurt to do that. This navy pattern looks really good on the phone wallet. And I think it's gonna be very versatile for a lot of products. So make sure you've got like all of them. It looks like you've got it on almost all of the products. This would even work really solid on a legging. I honestly think this would work fine on everything. It would make a challenging puzzle. I think there's gonna be more options for tags too. <laughs> this is a really good mask. Good title, 35 products. I would make it available on even more. I think it really does work even as a rectangle on, on a shirt. And I think there's gonna be room for more tags on that one. 
you can go into the edit all option and just see a bunch of your designs and then just change tags right there. And that's a lot more convenient than going into each one. This is really cute. Dragonfly, frog, and mushroom. I think those are spaced out really well. 24 products, you could definitely put it on even more. And I think there's some room for some more tags too, but title and spacing, those look really good. You have a lot of really eye-catching, colorful stuff. Good, you've got this. Honestly, that works really well as a blanket, and that can be tricky to make things work as blankets. And you make sure it goes off the edge on everything, and I think that works really well. If you had the extra time on something like the zipper pouch, since it is more vertical, you could edit it a little bit and make a horizontal version, but I think this looks good on a zipper pouch. You could always shift it down and just have it be two rows instead of like blue and then mostly peach and then pink. It's up to you, because on that one you really could choose whichever one you wanted to show. And this works just fine for the ones you wanted to show. Nice, just keep enabling on as much as you can and I think you're really good with making stuff that, that works as patterns and works as just one single thing. This is really cool in case someone wants that more elaborate background behind the van. Cool, I think you're definitely getting eyes on your shop and 20 followers, that's solid. Thank you, Samantha Swain, AKA Dippy Hippie. A ham sandwich walks into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. House Sam design. 499 is a really good amount of designs. Okay, lots of beer stuff, lots of dad stuff. And I think those things all work well as shirts. Only the brave teach. This one, you're gonna wanna be careful. If you want that on a duvet, you're gonna wanna shrink it. So definitely enable it on as much as you can. The tricky thing about duvets is if you have something large, like a phrase that works on a king, it's gonna be cut off probably a little on a queen and even more on a twin. So that's why patterns are a lot easier with that kind of thing. But if you want, you could make it just a little smaller and put it on the middle. It's definitely good to have it enabled on a lot of options, but for this I would definitely choose an item that you think is best for default because you don't want it defaulting to duvet because you can't read it. And then for example this phone case, you're going to want to work on formatting a little bit because you just see LY the Brave Teach. So I would shrink that and bring it down a little bit. I would consider left aligning it because the Brave and Teach both line up on the left and only is in a little bit. And that can work, but I think aesthetically it can be kind of nice to just have it all lined up on, that, on the left. Cool, and you've got a good amount of padding on a lot of these. What's tricky about the mug is that in the preview, it shows the side and sometimes people want the design on the opposite side of the handle and it's up to you where you put it but then you want to be really careful not to default to mug unless of course you have it right on the front if that makes sense because as you can see right there it's just bare so you wouldn't want to default it if you're gonna have it on the side really good amount of tags yeah 500 designs and you've got a lot of them as blurbs on t-shirts it's only a matter of time before it starts selling even more with, yeah, a lot of these blurbs, be careful with those duvets. Otherwise, I think these are really good. Um, when it comes to be a good person, be a teacher, and English is important, but physics is importanter, um, <laughs> I would put, that's pretty funny, I would put padding around those. These ones, they're white text. If you're gonna do sticker, you wanna make sure those are black. So if you wanted something white, upload it on other things white and have that black background, but then upload it specifically as black on sticker. Cool, I think you've got a really good versatile amount of designs for different people in different niches. So as long as you've got those good tags, people will find those blurbs. Thank you, House Sam Design. What did the baby corn ask the mama corn? Where's popcorn? Nina better not. Oh gosh, this is good. 189 designs, that's really good. And these dogs, are really nice. Just some of them you want to clean up. There's some spotting around them, specifically the parts that are connected. And you could even put open to requests if you are, if someone wants a specific type of dog that looks like theirs, because it looks like you're pretty good at doing like versatile different types of dogs. And those are all really cute. I think the stuff you have on shirts looks really good. This is a really cool mask and you've got it enabled on. 83 looks like you're good with the enabling. It doesn't want to load for me. It doesn't want to load all the stuff you have enabled, but I saw it for a split second and it looks good on t-shirts. It looks good for what you enabled. 
And the LGBT mask, that's something where bleeding off the edge could be just fine because it's such a abstract edge. And when something has a really abstract edge, it's okay for it to bleed usually. Nice, I think dog lovers will really like your page. I love Halloween and I love those Halloween sticker packs. Yeah, I think it was a good idea to have the more basic black dogs on t-shirts that are maybe various colors or just white and those colorful ones on stickers. I think that was a really good choice. And it's cute on the corner of those masks as well to have a little dog face. I like how basic this plant rug is. It's just an example of how basic blurb can look really good and that's a really good font for it too. Cool, I was gonna say this works really well on a tapestry too and you made sure to make those stickers black instead of white, which is something you always wanna make sure to do. And even that clock, you formatted that awesome, just making sure it's smaller and just kind of on the bottom. Even though in most cases it's good to default to centering, if you do wanna try something else, just make it evident that you mean for it to be in the corner. And this is a really good example of that. Yeah, the duvet covers are tricky because I think that'll work on King. I admittedly had a twin bed for a long time, but I think if someone buys that, they'll probably be at an age where they'll, where they'll have a queen or king. So it's okay that it cuts off a little on the twin. I think that'll be a lot less likely for people to be buying. The dress, I would maybe just let it be one instead of a pattern. It's up to you, but just letting it say, my plants have more followers one time on the dress. I think this is really cool for dog lovers and just really nice basic blurbs as well that you had. Thank you, Nina Better Not. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's fine, he woke up. Catherine Art, 123 designs. Nice, it looks like some people have seen your stuff and favorited it. Um, this is something that catches my eye. I'm just gonna refresh the page, red and green books. I'm gonna see if it's a random default. And it defaulted to duvet multiple times, so I think you might have it set to always default to that, but I definitely wouldn't use that as your default. And you've got it on everything, which is really good. Are you kidding me right now? Universe, please, please let me click. Okay, I'll just do this. It looks like you've got it enabled on everything. I would do a sticker magnet for the default. Definitely not the duvet. And if you do the duvet, I would be careful with formatting and not even have it repeat. And if you're gonna have it repeat, make it smaller and make it a smaller pattern. Cause it's just a little bit awkward with it starting up on top there. You can't really tell it's a pattern, so you wonder what that is. Cool, I think a lot of this stuff looks really good on t-shirts. And you know, as much as pink flowers in a vase could work on a sticker, I think if you wanna put it on a t-shirt, that works just fine as well. And if people are interested in a sticker, they can find that. So if something's got t-shirt potential, I think that's definitely a good option for defaulting. Cool, you've got it on pretty much everything from what I can see from the number. And that's a nice title, just short, sweet, and to the point. I think there's probably room for more tags, but you've got flowers, artsy, gardener. I think you're definitely on the right track. Pink, those butterflies work really well. That would make a cute sticker, but a really cute shirt too. And this one, it's really up to you what you default to, but I would do just a poster or something along those lines. I would choose something where it's just showing once and it's just emphasizing that one design instead of starting to repeat it but I think there's definitely room for more tags. And I love scenes like this, so it's nice to just emphasize that one scene. Honestly, that could be cute on a, on a duvet. So it's up to you if you do want to default to that, but it's so eye-catching to just have it as just defaulted as a poster, like I said with the other one. But this does work repeated. Um, the tapestry, it could be really cool to just let it be one instead of repeated. It looks really cool as just a square on a shirt. I really like that design. It's very versatile. The butterflies you'll want to spread because I know you want two at a time, but you'll want to spread all four of those. I think this is a safe number, but like I said, if something is really relevant to it, you can always add more. Really nice for a phone case. And I'm sure you've got this enabled on everything. This would make a very intricate, interesting puzzle, so you could definitely enable it on a puzzle. Nice, and you have a colored version too. Cool, I think your formatting for the most part is really good and a lot of these are really eye-catching and a lot of good specific collections. Thank you, Catherine Art. If you're still here, thank you so much. I hope this gave you some ideas for your own Redbubble shop. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and consider turning on notifications and I'll see you next time. Bye.
unique rope, unique, cute, cute, unique. You've got a lot of really cool, a lot of really cute, <laughs> a lot of really cool, <laughs> I'm putting that in the bloopers. <laughs>